Spider-Man, Spider-Man, some, something, some, something. So, Marvel, huh? Well, 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 if it isn't DC. Hmm. Hey, Saiwan, Joseph here, and it seems like DC dude has a bit of a dilemma with Marvel Man. How will he react? According to Sigmund Freud's structural model of personality, our behavior is governed by three aspects, the id, superego, and the ego. Let's take a look at what each would do, shall we? Cut off one head and two shall take its place. I'll go find two more. That turned violent. The id contains your primitive urges, like sex and aggression, and it operates according to the pleasure principle, where the pleasure of oneself comes first. Think of the id as the devil in your shoulder. Let's see what the others are doing. Hmm. Nothing happened. You see, the superego is the one that makes sure you follow society's ideals and morals. If the id is the devil, then the superego is the angel, always there to make sure you do the right thing. In this case, to walk away so no harm is done. So what does the ego do then? Let's see. I guess Marvel's not that bad. Fantastic Four sucks though. Yeah, tell it to Green Lantern. Let's just agree to disagree. Yeah, I guess we could like both. Pretty rational, huh? The ego operates according to the reality principle, where pleasure within societal norms is followed. The ego is what ultimately makes the decision, as it compromises between what the id and superego wants. These aspects often struggle with each other, leading to what Freud calls defense mechanisms. But that's a lesson for another day. Until next time then!